my drive toward ambition or toward what I had thought were my ambitions or my goals um, started to get in the way of my health. And, um, and so that really caused me to question what is this thing that is um, externally sometimes feeling um, in, in uh, the way that I was approaching ambition, um, my ambitions um, being very goal oriented and outcome oriented. Um, and the tendency for I think our culture and our society to really um, at least maybe in the past, maybe there's a, more of a shift happening, but to really more point to those external um, uh, goalposts for framing this notion that we call ambition. Um, and in, in having kind of that colliding, collided with my, um, my own health, um, I had to then really question what, what is this thing that I call ambition? What are these goals that I have set for myself? Where do they come from? Um, and, and why? <laughs> ambition in my mind is, is that which we are striving toward. Um, and um, seeking to understand those underlying drivers um, and whether they're externally motivated or intrinsically motivated um, is something that I've, yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed exploring having a practice of giving yourself, yourself the space necessary to pause and reflect and, and um, come from a place of strength is also really, really important. And I don't think I would associate those, the words courage and fearlessness and um, doing or pushing with that that kind of um, just respect or mindfulness for the non-doing. <laughs>